Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. My name is Michael Fasani and I've worked as a professional photographer since my early 20s and uh, I'm now in my early 30s. I've been using Photoshop since I was about 12 years old so I have some uh, some years experience shall we say. So I just want to go over today some of the basics of Photoshop and really start at the very beginning. Um, my plan for this series is to go through uh, the entire Photoshop uh, program and it may take me uh, a long time but it's something which I feel that I want to do and um, there's also some things in Photoshop that I still don't know myself and uh, part of this sort of learning process is going to be also for me to learn additional things about Photoshop as well. Okay so here we have Photoshop and we have an image uh, which I downloaded today from 500 pixels and um, this is the basic, uh, we call it a workspace Okay, so in our Photoshop workspace we have these tools here on the left hand side and this is called the toolbar and each tool has um, kind of similar tools, there's so many tools in Photoshop that they actually um, don't have uh, room for all of them and if you hover over a tool uh, you can see a little pop-up will come up and it will tell you what the tool is called and it will also tell you the keyboard shortcut which you can learn as you go along and you can save some time if for instance that's the brush tool if I press B then we select the brush tool okay so we have a bunch of tools here if you hold down one of the tools you'll see different um, similar tools so they're not they're not necessarily the same tool but they work in similar ways a lot of the time and um, that's how you can get to other other parts of the the tools that are sort of hidden behind other tools you have a little bar here which you can click and you can pull this toolbar out of the window if you wanted to and you can put it back again you see that you have this blue line that shows you that it's going to snap in the other thing that you have here is this little um, arrow which if you've got a really long monitor then you can have your tools uh, arranged in a long way if you've got like a if you're working on a laptop then maybe you want to have this toolbar um, stacked into two rows the next thing I'll show you is the option bar so each tool has a set of options and when you select a new tool you'll see that the option bar up here changes and that's how you customize the way in which your tool works Okay, so a brush tool works differently to say a cropping tool and a selection tool works differently to the type tool. But up here this option bar will change based on which tool you currently have selected. So the next thing I want to show you is the um, kind of the image viewing area and this is the main area here in the middle of the screen. And we basically have six images currently and I downloaded all of these today from 500 pixels and we basically can rotate and click through our images by clicking on these tabs. Another cool thing that you can do is you can drag the image out of the tab um, if you wanted to have it as a sort of freestanding image. It's quite common on Apple Macs to see that. And then the other thing you can do is actually you can drag this image over to the side here and you see this little blue line appears. If you drop the image there then you end up with two images in the same place. It can be very useful for viewing multiple images at the same time. Um, then you can drag images and you can put them into other tabs. Um, you can drag more images here, you can put like a third one in the middle. Um, another different way to do this is to go to window and you can go to arrange and we could pick any one of these ways of changing our workspace. So if we click six up we'll see all six images displayed in the same place and another way to get back to where we just were was to say consolidate all into tabs. So the next thing that we have in Photoshop are these panels over here and these panels are um, I guess all the different features or most of the different features from Photoshop and it's kind of a quick access menus and ways in which you can get to different additional tools and ways to sort of manage your content and we have a little drop down up here where we basically have sort of several different um, presets and you can also create your own presets I wouldn't necessarily do that straight away but for instance if we're interested in photography it might make sense to start with the photography preset if you're interested in 3D graphics you can go to the 3D preset or you can just go back to essentials which is where we started okay so the next thing to know about these panels is you can drag and drop these panels around 
um, in much the same way that you drag the images around in the workspace over here and you can just rearrange uh, things however you want uh, like I said I wouldn't recommend doing that straight away I would sort of leave things as they are and if there's any panels here that you lose for whatever reason for example you can right click and you can close so I've now closed the properties tab and it may have been a mistake and what I can do is I can come up here to window and I can actually get the properties tab back again so if you're watching some tutorials either my tutorials or other people's tutorials and they have a, a panel open that you simply don't seem to have on your screen you'll probably find it up here in window so in window you have a list of all of your panels and uh, if you click on one it will just pop it up somewhere in this panel area uh, the next thing to note is that you can actually resize these panels to make your uh, workspace more sort of customized to the way you like to work and you can also uh, click on these arrows at the top to shrink them down to sort of icons and labels again if you're working on a laptop sometimes it can be super useful to be able to do that again you have this little line at the top and you can drag and drop things and you can move things into sort of different different areas based on you know how you want to do stuff and again you can drag the panels out and they can be freestanding panels you can move them back in you can even come here and create sort of a three tier structure and if you click on these arrows they would all open up you can really customize your workspace basically um, to have it any way that you want in Photoshop so if you want to um, get them back in you go down to the bottom here and then they start to sort of you know drop back into the way that we had it previously and then just to reset that um, you can just go to reset essentials so all of the changes that I've just made I'm gonna basically just reset it and we'll go back to how we were when we started okay so that's basically it for this tutorial it was just a really quick intro to Photoshop just to sort of show you the basics of the workspace and how the workspace works where you can find uh, panels if they're missing how you can switch between documents and your toolbar on the left hand side so why not check out the next video where I'll start to teach you more about Adobe Creative Cloud